hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is chelsea and in today's video i'm going to be talking about sleep so sleep 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 this is like one of the biggest topics on the tips of every parent's tongue or everyone who meets a parent they say how is she sleeping how is he sleeping do they sleep through the night are they a good baby they always equate sleeping to if your baby's good or bad and the two have no correlation anyways so without further ado we're gonna get into it so this is the first video of my series not all moms and in this series i am just going to be talking about things which i found irritating or interesting since navigating life as a new mom so sleep as i said we're going to be talking about sleep when our before our daughter was born i knew that i would struggle with sleep because i don't really do well on lack of sleep and obviously with a baby this doesn't really go well however i remember thinking like she's not going to be in our bed never ever going to be in our bed like nope like because my mom i remember mom saying like once you get her in a bed in your bed you're not going to be able to get her out so i was like yeah, she's never going to sleep in our bed. <laughs> Little did I know that that's the only way we would have been able to get any sleep. So, yeah, basically, when I remember, so let's go back to the beginning. When our daughter was first born, we were in the post-birth ward, I don't know what it's called. And I remember she was like sleeping really peacefully and all the other babies were screaming their heads off. And my husband and I looked at each other and we were like... Ah, look at our perfect daughter sleeping, not making a sound, like she's so great. <laughs> Bearing in mind she was only a couple of hours old, so we're very, very naive. Um, new parents, new to this whole thing. And as the days and weeks went on, so did the amount of sleep that we were getting decrease. Um, and I remember really like struggling thinking, oh, I don't want her to sleep in our bed, like what are we gonna do? And for the first couple of nights slash weeks, well, not the first couple of nights, for the first couple of weeks, she slept in her own cot. We had like a little bedside cot, a snooze pod, and she slept in there comfortably. And then we got to like about 10 weeks and she hated sleeping in that thing. Like every time we would put her in, she would always like, you know, newborns have like the startle reflex. She'd always startle herself. She'd always wake up. And we would find ourselves picking her out of the cot several times a night because she just would not sleep in there. And also she was a very noisy sleeper. Like she'd be like, hey, like she'd make all these noises in her sleep and for me as her mum I was really really tuned in to every single noise every single noise she made I'd be like like is, is she okay is she okay and I'd look over and she'd literally be peacefully sleeping and disturbing me from my sleep so we decided that the only thing that would work for us is if I slept in a different room my husband slept in the same room as her and every time she cried then he would like bring her to me to feed her and that has actually been working well for us since we started doing that however we do we also decided that if she was like crying late in the night that we would bring her in the bed with us because otherwise we'd be waking up several times in the night to try and get her back to sleep and she just slept better in the bed with us or like this is no, a no-brainer like why would you not co-sleep with your baby however as I said like in my mind I was thinking oh my gosh like everyone says to me once you get them in your bed you can never get them out like the baby will want to sleep there all the time like you won't ever have any time alone together and I was saying this to my husband like I was so worried but we just kept doing it because it was what was working best for us it was what was allowing us to sleep and we can't function on no sleep so i just want to say like if you decide to co-sleep because it's the only way that you're getting sleep then just do what works best for you and try not to worry about in six months time or in two years time oh my baby's not going to want to come out of my bed and here's why so from when our daughter turned six weeks i tried to start creating a routine 
in the evening so that she would know the difference between night and day so in the morning I'd always open the curtains whatever room we were in so I'm in her room now she's got curtains in here there's curtains in every room in the house so I'd open the curtains so it's nice and bright and when it come to night time I'd close the curtains and I'd always end the night which is when we need her to sleep the most <laughs> I would always like I wouldn't give her a bath every day I do now but I would like massage her body with like a vino or whatever we had and then change her into her sleep suit put her into her sleep sack and then try to feed her to sleep or whatever feeding to sleep another thing that people say not to do just do whatever you need to do to get your baby to sleep and for me when people say don't feed to sleep it's just like what so my baby's feeding on my breast and then she falls asleep because it's so soothing and comforting and you're telling me not to do that like it just seems very contradictory anyway back to the routine so I would feed her to sleep and then I'd put her down in her cot and just hope for the best and she kind of got herself into sort of a routine her own routine like when it came to the night time when I changed her in she'd always fall asleep and when she woke up it wouldn't be like the same as if she woke up from a nap in the day and I noticed she did that all on her own there was no me like sleep training her or forcing her to not feed or whatever she just naturally did that on her own so now she's five months old every evening what I do is I basically um I give her a bath and then I come into the bedroom I put the hatch sound machine on so the hatch sound machine I've insert a video here it's a light and sound machine um so it does both at the same time and I put the sound machine on whilst I'm getting her dressed for bed so that she knows it's bedtime and then once I finish dressing her then I put the light out the main light out and then the light on the sound machine is like a dimmer light so that comes on and I feed her to sleep and I put her in her cot and she sleeps for three hours her big girl cot she is five months old and I don't recommend putting babies into there until they're six months old however she was too long to fit into her snooze pod because we have a very long baby so we started putting her in here with the camera on which you can see in the background that little blue thing there hanging over so that's what we decided to do and now she sleeps in her cot for three hours the first three hours of the night we are guaranteed sleep in there and I didn't do anything I didn't do any sleep training I basically just put her in there and hope for the best and she did that all on her own so what I'm saying is that sometimes it's really worrying like when people tell you oh you're doing this wrong or don't do this or my baby does this or my baby sleeps for 12 hours a night or I feed my baby food before bed and they go to sleep none of these things like if you look up the science behind baby sleep none of these things are actually scientifically proven to help the baby sleep baby sleep is developmental and although it's extremely exhausting for us as new parents they just sleep when they're ready to and it is really really tiring like I'm not gonna sit here and say oh it's easy like when she wakes up sometimes she sleeps four hours sometimes she sleeps three hours sometimes she wakes up every hour and it's really exhausting but I just wanted to make this video to say don't feel any pressure or put any pressure on yourself to get your baby to sleep in their cot, sleep through the night or if you need to co-sleep then just co-sleep because I feel like the people who are saying don't do this and don't do this and my baby does this they're not in your position and sometimes obviously their baby's sleeping 10 hours or whatever and your baby's sleeping two hours and you think what am I doing wrong maybe I should try what they're trying but just stick with your instinct and do what works best for you um obviously like i'm not against sleep training well i am against sleep training however i feel like people have different needs so if you're a working parent working household like we do work but i mean in the sense that or if you're a single parent i should say obviously and you need to wake up for work every day you're obviously not and you need to sleep train then do whatever you need to do but i'm saying just do whatever works best for you and don't feel under pressure to do what other people are doing your baby will sleep whenever the time comes i know it's hard but 
I just shared the story of my daughter sleeping because I know that people worry and she did this all on her own. She just, in the night, she goes, once I finish her bath routine, do all that, she knows that it's night time. She doesn't, when she wakes up, it's not the same as if she wakes up from a daytime nap. Sometimes she does wake up to play at like 3 a.m. in the morning. But again, that's developmental. But I know that she knows the difference between night and day. And that is because of simple things like opening the curtains, shutting the curtains, putting the sound machine on, giving her a little massage, getting her changed. These are all things that she associates with bedtime. And I didn't have to sleep train her. And I know people want to get a full night's sleep. However, babies aren't programmed to sleep a full night's sleep. So if you're a new parent out there and you're struggling with this, just do what works best for you. Trust your instinct, do whatever you need to do. Feed your baby to sleep, rock your baby to sleep, give them a dummy, put them in their cot. Do whatever works best for you. And yeah, that's the end of this video. This is the first one out of the series that I'm gonna make. I think the next thing I'm gonna talk about is baby groups. <laughs> right, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye.